excited to share another appetizer video. I'm making the potato balls that you get at Porto's. It's a Cuban cafe slash bakery. And if you know about Porto's, you know how popular the potato balls are. They're so delicious. It's basically deep fried balls of mashed potato with a really meaty, saucy filling. And it's so delicious and really for good reason. Um, so if you're going there for a grub, it's just something you inevitably end up picking from the menu. Uh, but if you haven't been to Porto's, I haven't heard about the potato balls, worry not because I have you covered. I'm going to make it today. And so hopefully you guys can try it on your show. Try it on your show. You hopefully can try it in your kitchen. Let's make some potato balls, shall we? The ingredients that you'll need are potatoes, beef, chopped up green and red bell peppers, and a little bit of jalapeno pepper, some tomato sauce, onions, uh, cayenne pepper, and a couple other spices. Now the first thing you want to do is get your mashed potatoes ready, so for that I'm just boiling uh, my potatoes in salted water. Now while that is going, we're going to make our beef filling, and for that we're going to add in onions and saute them um, in the pan. Um, and into that we're going to add in our red bell pepper, green bell peppers, and our jalapeno peppers, and give it a nice mix together until they're nice and soft. The third thing we're going to add is our beef and get it nice and brown. Um, and once that is done, we're going to start seasoning it with all of our spices, paprika, cayenne pepper, salt, um, cumin obviously, which is essential. And after that, we're going to add in our tomato sauce and just let it kind of just sit there, give it a nice toss so that all the flavors melt together. And that is pretty much it for our beef filling. Now, once your potatoes are boiled, we're going to mash it with a splash of milk just to get it nice and fluffy. Mash them up really well, and once that is combined and really nice and soft, we're going to start scooping out our potato balls. And I'm taking an ice cream scoop. I think the first one I tried uh, was a, a bit larger than I wanted. So just take an ice cream scoop, um, maybe like two ounces, and fill, like flatten it out in the palm of your hand and add about half a teaspoon of your filling. Don't overfill because if you overfill them, they're going to fall apart in your oil and you don't want that. So now once your uh, filling is done, we're kind of just, as you can see, I'm just taking the corners and folding it in. And it's fine if you can still see the filling here and there. Just take a little bit of your mashed potatoes and kind of glue it onto the potato ball. It's very easy. And just kind of roll it out so it's nice and flat. And just go ahead and do all of um, the measurements are really, really accurate. I used all of my potatoes with all the filling. Now the final thing obviously is our coating. We're going to first coat our potato ball in flour dip it in egg and then coat it really really nicely in our breadcrumbs and shake off the flour because you don't want excess flour in there so just flour egg and just toss it in egg really quickly to make sure that the crumbs are going to stick to it now very important is to chill this in the fridge because if you don't chill it for a good two to four hours it's going to fall apart in your oil so make sure that you're giving it nice a good amount of chilling time and once you've chilled it, get your deep fryer ready. So I'm testing out my oil. As you can see, I just put a wooden spoon. And once the oil starts rippling, you know it's ready. Now, don't overcrowd your pan again because the temperature will drop, especially because we just took it out of the fridge. And just go ahead and get it to a nice brown color. Now fry up all the rest of them, and that is it. Okay, guys, so the potato balls are done, and they look ridiculously crispy and good. So I'm just going to take one and slice into it before eating and to show you what the filling looks like. So good. It's an amazing appetizer. You have so many people to feed. Actually, I don't even know if this is going to be enough for all the people that are really watching me right now eat this with very envious eyes. And I also have like a little bit of chili that I made with half of the beef that I left over. So I'm just going to do a little fancy and dip it in. You need to make this. You don't even need to go to Porto's because I basically told you exactly what Porto's makes. That's their best thing on the menu. Try this at home. I hope you guys like this video so do give it a thumbs up and uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Um, I'm making the Porto's potato oil. I kind of just went going to show you what the inside looks like before biting into it. Ooh. Should I do this again? I'll keep it rolling. Okay well that's what it looks like. Um, I half fell so whatever. But I'm just gonna...